Azerbaijan uh, carried out an air and artillery raid on the region. Azerbaijan, though, saying it's uh, simply responded to Armenian shelling. The two countries have been at odds over the disputed region for four decades now, as Yinka Oyetade explains. Azerbaijani tanks completely annihilated. These images released by the Armenian Ministry of Defense shows the latest outbreak of violence over the disputed region of Nogono Karabakh. Now Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan is calling on all parts of the army to come out and fight. Now by the decision of the government, martial law and total mobilization are declared in the Republic of Armenia. I call on the personnel attached to the troops to report to their regional military commissariats. Nogono Karabakh has been at the center of tensions between Armenia and Azerbaijan for the last 40 years. While Karabakh is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, it's been out of the country's control since the end of a war between the two sides in 1994. It has since been controlled by ethnic Armenians. But clashes have continued to erupt between the two sides. In April of 2016, fighting there left 110 people dead. And back in July of this year, fresh clashes killed over a dozen people. Both sides are now claiming that this latest flare-up has also claimed civilian and military casualties. It has led to fears of a full-blown-out war between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Azerbaijan's defense minister told the country's official news agency... The command staff of the Azerbaijan army decided to launch a counter-offensive operation of our troops along the entire front to suppress the combat activity of the armed forces of Armenia and ensure the safety of the civilian population. Confrontation between the two sides has also led to a proxy conflict between Russia and Turkey. While Moscow has called for an immediate ceasefire, Turkey, a key ally to Azerbaijan, blames Armenia for the fighting. It assures forces in Baku that they have Ankara's full support.